Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belinda and I go by the name of Belinda Chosen. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So today, guys, I have a word for you guys from the Lord. Um, before I get into this word, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. So there's been some um, crazy people with my uh, with the, my picture and my name um, responding to comments, asking for donations in the comments, asking um, for donations to some Nigerian orphanage and saying if you sow a seed, God will bless you. Listen, guys, that is not me. If you see such comments, please report and block them. I would not by no means ever ask you for money in the comments. It's not me, guys. Please don't be fooled. Be vigilant and have the sermon, guys. That is not me. I will never do such thing ever. But yeah, please block such people. So I want to get right into this word today. It's a beautiful word. And the word um, today is here the chains breaking. Isn't that good news? Hear the chain breaking. I had to really sit down and really thought about and think about what this meant. So hear the chains breaking. This is a prophetic declaration. And the Lord wants you to hear the chains breaking. He wants you to open your spiritual ears to hear that the chains are breaking, that the chains are broken. Hear the chains breaking. And the Lord was saying that a lot of you are bound by chains and it's preventing you from accelerating and moving forward. So you always feel stuck. You know, some of you are wondering why you're still stuck in a specific season. What is happening? It's because a lot of you are bound by chains that's preventing you from accelerating forward. A lot of you are bound by the spirit of fear. A lot of you are bound by um, uh, the spirit of unbelief, by the spirit of jealousy. God wants to free you from these things today. And a lot of you are bound by suicidal thoughts. And a lot of the times we wait on God to do certain things, but a lot of times God's waiting on us to, to, you know, believe and have faith so that he will move on our behalf. And I just want to pinpoint certain things that I've mentioned. A lot of you are still bound by the spirit of fear. The Bible says, for well, the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power of love and a sound mind. So God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind mind. God has given you the authority. Know your authority. Know who you are and who you belong to. And just know that God has given you victory over the spirit of fear. And that spirit no longer has power over you. So today the Lord is saying, open up your spiritual ears and hear the chains breaking. Hear the chains breaking. Another thing that can that, that can be preventing you from accelerating and moving forward is a lot of you are battling with unforgiveness. God is saying, whatever it is that you've been holding on to, let it go today. Let it go for your own good. Let it go. A lot of the times when we've laid hold of things in our heart, especially against people, some of those people have moved on and don't even remember what they did or how they made us feel. But you are still holding on to it. I know it's not it's not easy to let things go. But today the Lord says, hear the chains breaking. He wants to free you from that spirit because there's things that God wants to do in your life, but is not able to do it because you are still holding on to the spirit of unbelief. So God is saying, let that go today. Release it to him. Open your spiritual ears and hear the chains breaking. Hear the chains falling. Hear it breaking. It is breaking right now in the name of Jesus. Even as you watch this video, the chains that has bound you, that chains of unforgiveness no longer has power over you. Today is your day of breakthrough. The chains are being broken. God says, hear the chains breaking. And a lot of you are dealing with familiar spirits. Uh, a lot of you, there's um, things that you thought you've gotten over. There's things that you thought you've moved on from, but you find yourself back in the same thing, back in the same struggle. The Lord said that you have been dealing with familiar spirits and you don't even know it, but God is saying that he's going to set you free from those spirits, that those spirits will no longer have you bound, that those spirits will no longer have you um have a hold on you. God is breaking those chains and is setting you free. He says, open up your ears, hear the chains 
breaking. Hear the chains breaking in the spirit because I am doing it now. I am doing it. So hear the chains breaking. Do you hear the chains breaking? Because I am doing it right now. So open up your ears by faith in the spirit and hear the chains breaking. And God also want to free a lot of you from suicidal thoughts. This is real. God gave you life and your life is precious and your suffering is not going to end with you taking your own life. But God said he's setting you free from those thoughts. He's setting you free from, from the spirit of, mm, oh my God. God is setting you free from suicidal thoughts. You are precious. You are a precious son. You are a precious daughter of God and your life is precious. He's seen your struggles. He's seen the battles that you've been facing, the thoughts that you're, you're, you're Fought, that you've been fighting for so long. God is saying, I'm setting you free right now. As you watch this, in this moment, that you are free from spirit, from, um, from suicidal thoughts. You are free from this thoughts. This thoughts will no longer have power over you. You're going to think and those thoughts are not going to be there. You are free right now in the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare freedom in your life in Jesus name. So you are no longer bound by the spirit of suicide, by the suicidal thoughts. God said, I have broken. I have broken it. Hear the chains falling. Hear the chains breaking. Open up your spiritual ears and hear it breaking. God has done it in the spirit and it's manifesting. Hear the chains breaking. You are a precious son and daughter of God and the Lord is not finished with you yet. The good work that the Lord began in you, he will definitely bring it to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. So hear the chains breaking. You are free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another thing that the Lord is saying is that a lot of you are bound by the spirit of unbelief and it's keeping you from accelerating forward. It's keeping you from moving. Um, it's preventing you from moving forward. God is saying, believe in me. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be, will be open. God wants to set you free from that spirit of, of unbelief. All these spirits, you have to understand, you have to call it out by name. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of unbelief no longer has power over me. The spirit of suicide no longer has power over me. The spirit of fear no longer has power over me. Over me. Whatever it is that's keeping you bound, you know what it is. Call it by his name, in the name of Jesus, and the Lord will set you free. Call it by name and decree and declare that it has no power over you. So the Lord wants to set you free from that spirit of unbelief. I love you. I've been praying, God, I believe. Please help my unbelief. And God has heard your prayer and he's helping you. And he's helping you. And God is saying, hear the chains breaking. Hear the chains breaking. The chains are being broken. Do you hear the chains? It is breaking. So we hear the chains breaking in Jesus name. God is saying he wants to deliver you from the spirit of jealousy. Yes, the spirit of jealousy. A lot of you look around at your brothers and sisters and you're jealous and you're mad. I just want to say like, when you see God doing something in someone else's life, be happy for them, rejoice with them. You don't know where God has taken them from. You don't know their, their full story. You don't know the battles they have faced and their battle with when they were like alone, the things that you can't even see. So when you see your brothers and sisters accelerating and um, walking in their calling, be happy for them. But a lot of you have been bound by the spirit of jealousy and God wants to release you from that spirit because there are things that God wants to do personally in your life. Life. But first, you got to let go. You got to let go and let God. OK, don't be jealous. We have the same access to the father. Come to him. Ask and you shall receive according to God's will for your life. OK, so whatever it is that's keeping you bound, you know, whatever it is that you're struggling with. Call it by name right now. Call that thing by name and, and, and say, you know what? Um, I, I come against the spirit of, of unbelief today in the name of Jesus. That chain is broken and no longer has power in me. Whatever it is, call it by name. And the Lord is saying, hear the chains breaking. Hear the chains breaking. Hear the chains breaking. The chains are broken. Now, I want you, I want you to hear by faith. The Lord says, hear the chains breaking. Hear the chains breaking. You are free in the name of Jesus. At whatever point that you watch this, hear the chains 
breaking, whatever has prevented you from accelerating and moving forward no longer has power over you right now. Right now, in this moment, you are free. It no longer has power over you. Whatever has kept you stuck into going into that season that God has prepared for you. Oh, hear the chains breaking. God is taking you out from the wilderness and bringing you into the promise. So hear the chains breaking. Hear the chains falling. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, and I come in agreement by faith that the chains are broken. Hear the chains falling. Hear the chains breaking. I hear the chains breaking, even in my own life. I believe and I decree and declare that I am who God says I am, and I will do what God has called me to do. I come against every ungodly spirit that's kept me bound. It is no longer has power over you or me. Hear the chains breaking. So that's the word today. It's a good word. The Lord has done it. Now he wants you to hear it breaking because what he has done in the spirit is manifesting in the physical. So hear the chains breaking. So that's the word for today. What a beautiful word. I would, I want you to take this word to the Lord. Don't just leave it here. Don't just receive it and just put it in your back pocket. Take this word to the Lord and pray about it. I'll go into your prayer closet and bring it to God and ask him to speak to you. Okay, guys? So I, uh, before I go, I just want to remind, um, just, well, I posted up on YouTube today that I'll be doing a live on Saturday, September 10th with my sister Lola Love. We're doing a live prophetic prayer on Saturday, um, Toronto, um, Canada time. It's 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss that. I, I believe that God is really going to move prophetically and God is going to do something amazing in your life. And even if you do miss it, you can um, you can make it. Maybe you have work or a different time zone, I'll, I will definitely upload the replay for you to, to watch. So I hope you find this word um, um, just as a confirmation to you. Here, the chains break into a beautiful word. God is so good. I love you guys, and I'll see you back again in my next video. Bye. I thank God for the best of